In this video, we're going to be using Hendrix Classics and Company Band and the Razor Rock Hawk version 3. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB, and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. And before we get into the video today, I want to remind you that this video is brought to you in part by our good friends at Leaf. I will pop up a photo of the leaf and twig right there. Excellent razors and razors that I use personally. If you want to get 5% off, uh, use the discount code IMCDB at Leaf Shave. And remember, care for the places you care about because you know Leaf does. All right, let's get into the content today. Today, we're going to be using Hendrix Classics and Company Bad. Family friendly, so we don't say the rest of the word. And <laughs> we try to keep it family friendly here. Anyway, nice label on this, as you can see there. I think it's cool. Uh, now it is. Someone mentioned that it's using some stock art. That is okay with me. Just last week, I had two different people ask me if I had a problem with the Shaveline NDB sub because there was some stock art in that image. And the answer is no, I don't care about that whatsoever. I only brought it up because someone thought that was actually a picture of smiles on the artwork because it does look like it. It's cool. I like that artwork. I like this artwork. I don't have any problem with that. Um, I don't know where that came from, but whoever's putting that out is wrong and false. So. I don't have any problem with smiles nor stock artwork and I like this one so we're looking forward to using it today. The cost on this one $21 for five ounces or on our cost chart for 20 an ounce which is a fair price and it has a really nice scent. It kind of reminds me of Trade Winds from uh, Moon Soaps or Bergamot and Bay from Coal River Soap Works. Really nice scent. I love the scent. I'm going to put the ingredients for you right here. Uh, and in a minute, I'll put the notes up there because I forgot to do that. We don't want to forget that. Anyway, let's also show you the notes right there. I like the scent a lot. Big thumbs up. And the soap was soft, but it wasn't too soft. It was very soft, but it wasn't hard to work with. It didn't, you know, wash out or anything like that. So quality wise, it looks like it might be good, but we'll see. That's why we shave. So the razor for today is the Razor Rock Hawk version three which you see right here. And this one has the A plate, which is supposed to be their most efficient offering. This is a very nice razor, in my opinion. It comes to you for an incredible price. $69.99 for a 316 stainless steel. This is made in Canada. I have the regular plate, and so I got recently the, um, the most efficient plate they offer because I just wanted to try it out. And this, this handle is the Super Neural Handle. This is a really good value in Artist Club style razor. Now, let me pull out of my pocket another Artist Club razor because I get this all the time. They'll say, you know, how does the Razor Rock Hawk compare to the Vector? And the question, that question is invalid. Nothing compares to the Vector. And do I keep this in my pocket all the time? Yes, I do. No, I don't. But anyway, I love this razor. So nothing for me compares to this. But this, this is not a bad razor at all. It shaves well. It is affordable. Um, I would say it's, you know, it's bulky compared to the uh, Vector, but every single edge uh, Artist Club style razor is, is um, bulky compared to the Vector. So again, it's kind of hard to compare the Vector to anything. It's in a class of its own, but this, this is no slouch. I like it a lot. I get great shaves with it. Um, and I, I enjoy the Hawk version three. So enough babbling. Let's get started. Why not? Go to Mr. Facer. This is just plain water. No special elixirs in here. Then we'll mix our lather up a little bit because it's been setting while I've been yapping and it's a nice lather, I do believe. The brush for today is the uh, West Coast Shaving Honeycomb. Remember that uh, if you're a child of the 70s or maybe even 80s, remember that honeycomb cereal, the honeycomb hideout commercial? Everybody was always going to the honeycomb hideout for some reason. Why? I don't know. Maybe they were looking for the vector or the hawk. Could be. You never can't tell. Anyway, excellent sheen on this lather today. Uh, the lighting, there's too much light right above this, so it makes it hard. And no matter what I do, what sort of gyrations, you can't see the sheen on this lather. Oh well. I gotta do the best I can. <laughs> Let's go, let's go. Let's, let's get to lathering here, folks. That's what it's all about, is actually shaving. And I've been looking forward to this one because I haven't used the Hendrix product yet. This is my first time. So I got this, by the way, at the Razor Company. And I had no problems lathering it. It was easy to work with, despite being very, very soft. And that's okay. As long as you're not goopy and you don't start washing out and I have to keep adding product and adding product and adding product, you are okay. And this was okay. And the scent is fantastic. I love it. 
This is a win. This is one of those. If it weren't so early, I would let off a Rick Flair woo, but I don't want to wake up my, my folks. <laughs> and no, I don't still live at home. I'm here down here helping if you're new to the channel. Um, but man, oh man, this is very pleasant. Very nice. So yesterday we used Neon, um, Neon Sun by Noble Otter. I don't like that. Um, I don't hate it, but I don't, well, I don't love it, let's say. This one, I like a lot. This is a hit. This is a win. This is what I look for when I grab it. So, excuse me, I feel like I'm going to sneeze. So, if I have to cut out, it's because I'm sneezing. Stay tuned. And all right, we've got our sneeze out of the way. So, let's get to going. Let's get going. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. Very nice. That feels fantastic. That's very nice indeed. Again, do I compare this? To the vector no but it is good don't let um, don't let the price fool you on this one this one punches well above its weight class um, and the a plate is more efficient than the standard um, for me it still might feel slightly less efficient maybe than the vector but it is good this is no slouch this is no slouch at all I've liked the Hawk razors for a long time it's a good razor And as you can see, you know, everything is just smooth and nice. The Hendrix soap here, first time using this base. No problems with it. No problems at all. It feels feeling good, plenty slick enough. Oh yeah, that's nice. That's nice. All right. I'm definitely digging that. And as you can see there, the razor rinsing nice and clean, which is what you want. Make sure that razor is rinsing nice and clean. Oh man, that feels great. I'll tell you what, I have really taken to taken to these uh, Artist Club style uh, razors. And there, by the way, I don't know if you can see that. Um, when I rinse that off, it'll be gone. No, nothing left over on the bottom there. So that's how you know where it's at least one sign of a well hydrated lather. So soap isn't sticking to everything. It rinses easily. That's what you want, in my opinion. All right, first pass, excellent. I, you know, nothing to complain about, a good positive experience. So far in our first time with the Hendrix Classic and Company, I think it is. I'm glad he sort of abbreviates it or uses a HC and C because that's a lot easier than Hendrix Classic and Company. When you're trying to thumbnail these brands and whatnot, when it's really long or the sub name is long, it's like, ay, ay, ay. You try to create a thumbnail with the name in it, it's like, I can't fit it, it's too big. <laughs> so, all right, nice. Whew. This is nice. I am digging it, I gotta tell you right now. No quality problems whatsoever with this soap. So I can tell you right now, based on even that first pass, Hendrix Classic and Company soaps, I will definitely um, give them another shot. I will use more because there's just no no quality problems here. Look at that. Good hydration in there. It's good stuff. I like it. And let me go back again on the, the artwork. I'm not sure where that came from, but... Last week, again, I was asked by two people if I had a problem with smiles or the label. I'm like, no, I bought it. Why would it? <laughs> if I had a problem, I wouldn't have bought it. I don't really know smiles that well. But, you know, I know it has the show on Sunday. I don't ever make that because I'm with my wife or, you know, my right now down with my mom and dad helping her, you know, through her bout with uh, cancer. And so I don't catch the show, but I'm supportive of the smells, you know, I plugged uh, when his father died, his charity on the channel. I bought the shave line and I donated, I donated myself to that effort, charity. And so I don't know where that came from, but uh, folks, I would just say, if you would like to ask me a question or if you think I have a problem with something, just shoot me an email. Um, I am whatever, I'll be happy to tell you. But it, you know, I wouldn't use the product if I didn't like it or had a problem with it. So. Not sure where that came from, that was weird. It might have been just because I mentioned that the Smiles um, artwork was stock and, and that was only because people actually had commented, oh, that's custom, that's a drawing of Smiles. And it was awesome though, I like the artwork. And that soap is a keeper for me, by the way, so I dig it. And congratulations, by the way, to Smiles 
And uh, I think Shay Cave is not on the show anymore, but to him too, because he was part of that effort. And so, really nice. And also Strike Gold Shave, which you know I love. All right, let's get into the second pass. Maybe we'll do two passes today, because we're already at 12 minutes. We don't have to do three. I know I can shave on residual slickness with the soap. It is really good and slick. You can just feel it. Oh man, that's nice. This is really an enjoyable scent. I'm liking it a lot. But again, I think um, I definitely had the scent and other things. And again, that's not a problem. I'm not, you know me, I'm not, um, I don't have a problem with inspired products or dupe scents or anything like that. And this one might be sort of a pre-made scent, I'm not sure, but it's great nonetheless, I don't care. <laughs> I would rather have a great dupe or a great pre-made scent than a bad original scent or one I didn't like. So I would take this one above Noble Otter or Neon Sun every day, all day, every week, every month, every year, every millennium. Uh, is that clear? <laughs> this is good. It's surprisingly slick too. Slickness is what's uh, standing out in this soap, or either I've just got a really good mix of uh, the soap um, and water to, you know, it's just, and I can't remember, you know, I know I put the ingredients on the screen, but I don't have them in front of me, whether this was tallow or vegan. It might have been just vegetal, meaning it might have not fully been um, vegan, but not necessarily tallow. So I can't recall, but I put those ingredients on the screen so you can. You saw that earlier, but whatever it is, it's definitely on the slick side, I'll tell you that. That is a feature that's standing out. And again, I do like the artwork on the label. I like the scent. I guess you could say I like everything about it. It's awesome. <laughs> so, very good first run here with Hendrix Classic and Company, bad. And again, I'm not saying the rest of it because I try to keep it family friendly. There are families who watch this, kids with their uh, parents watch it and uh you know i try to keep it family friendly so the f whole family can watch and enjoy it. and thank you by the way and i've gotten over the years some uh some messages for from folks who watch with their families and they'll say the, their daughter or son really enjoys you know watching and i'm like wow that's amazing <laughs> you know so i appreciate that and I hope that by them watching, we're planting the seed of a future traditional shaver. That's what it's all about, growing this hobby, growth mindset. Um, a lot of times I think you have to think less about yourself and your personal things, like I want to curse and say bad words. To me, it's more important to grow the hobby, to be welcoming, because um, I don't need to say a bunch of curse words and drop bombs all over the place. You know, I can communicate without doing that. And if you do that, it doesn't bother me because, you know, uh, I certainly do it myself based on the crowd I'm around. If I'm with friends, you know, we, we let it slip, slide every now and then, but I don't do a lot of it because what I find is when you do, it can, you can be in a business meeting or something and you're, if you're in the habit of doing that, it can slip out and you don't want that. You want to be professional. So, but anyway, we keep it family friendly because we want to be a, a channel that anybody feels comfortable in watching. And for me, that's no sacrifice. It's easy. You just, you know, keep it clean. No big deal. But also, I want to tell you, those of you who don't, I have no problem with that. I enjoy your content too. So I'm not telling you you need to do it. I'm just telling you that my objective is to enjoy myself and have a growth mindset. I want to do things to grow this hobby. And when we do, we get these newer brands like Hendrix that come along. I mean, it's not, it's not day one new, but it's newer. And that's a great thing because we get a new experience and a new product. I mean, it's a win. It's a win. I'll tell you what, this was also a win today. I enjoyed it a lot. Really, really capable shaver, the Razor Rock Hawk version 3 with the A plate. All right, that was awesome. Let me rinse. Then we shall come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back and off cam. We did a warm water rinse to remove the soap. And then we applied our good old Razor Rock alum, which I've had for a very long time. No stinging or tinging, so it was a super smooth shave. No nicks, cuts, creepers, weepers, irritation, bubbles, troubles. That's how we do it here on the IMCDB channel. Or at least that's what we shoot for every single day. Following the alum, we did a cool water rinse. And then we towed off with, you know what it is, the Lancaster towel. 
excellent luxurious feel just just blotting the face feeling great before applying our Thayer's this is Thayer's cucumber witch hazel magic because it's made by witches awesome awesome shave today with the razor rock hawk version 3 with the a plate this is a very capable razor is it the vector no but nothing is but for $69 I'm going to tell you you could do far worse than this razor this is a good razor. It's a keeper for me. I have the standard plate too. I like it, but I prefer the efficiency that the A plate offers. They do have several plates, including open combs. You can sort of customize it and get whichever one you want. This is a really nice shaver and I really, really enjoy using it. It's one that I'm going to keep. Uh, the Hendrix Classic and Company Bad, as you see there, the first run was excellent. I had no problems with it. Uh, so pros, good cost, great label, Great scent. Um, really the only con I could think of, it's a little soft, so, so the value might not be quite as good as a harder soap, but really very, very few things to say that might be a con. And I have plenty of soap left over from my sample, so uh, I enjoyed Hendrix Classic and Company soap, and I will try more in the future for sure. And of course we used our, our West Coast Shaving, I'm dripping all over the place, <laughs> West Coast Shaving a Honeycomb brush. Our beautiful Lancaster Razor Works brush soaking mug. So when I say brush so soaking, I just mean when you, before the shave, you soak your brush in water. And also I use this to put my brush down in, in between passes and so on. I love it. I love all the Lancaster stuff. It's just, and I love um, the gent at Lancaster, Andre. Great guy. Anyway, love you too. Cause thank you so much for <laughs> joining us. I really appreciate. Oh, we almost forgot the splash. We can't forget that. We're going to try to use this never, this bottomless bottle of Razor Rock <laughs> Emperor. I've been trying to kill this and it just won't die. And that's kind of a good thing. I mean, you know, I just keep using it and using it and using it. And one day there's not going to be, there's still some left over there. Maybe we'll kill it today. Let's take the time to do it. Oh yeah. This smells like Creed of Endus. And let's see if we can capture the last drops. There it is. See, it's still going. So there we go. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Get out of there. Get out of there. And that I believe there we go. Look, it just took, it keeps coming. It keeps coming. <laughs> I can probably shake it here in a minute. It's still going to be gone. Let's see. Uh, let's put it that way so you can see what it is. There we go. Okay, we have finally, there was another drop as I turned it back up. We have finally killed this one after many years. Thank you for all your service, Razor Rock Emperor, which smells like Creed of Ventus. Thank you very much. And thank you, folks. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, your shave, do it your way, and as always, God bless.